And if this is being lost, then may I never be found. I'm still. I just wanted to share this freshly fallen snow with you guys. See how it looks like glitter? Okay. Now, I don't know, you can't really see it, I guess. But if you stare into this path of light and you look at the snow, it just looks like glitter falling. So pretty. When I took this assignment in Wisconsin, I thought it might be fun to challenge myself to get through a Midwest winter. I'm from Florida. I know nothing about snow or ice or salt, or what kind of salt is safe for dogs' paws. I don't know anything about shoveling snow or how to do it safely or what a snowblower actually looks like. I had boots and a jacket from many years ago from a trip to Washington State. So I bought base layers when I got to Wisconsin as I needed them, and I bought snow cleats because I was not I'm going to do a split on the ice. Turns out snow is pretty darn magical, especially when your neighbor is tasked with shoveling the snow in front of your house. Even when it's scary, it's really, really beautiful. And it's so quiet. my pants. <laughs> okay, I guess that's as good as it's getting. It was a tiny little tree. What you think? You wanna give me a Christmas kiss? Hey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
Um, it's only minus five, I think, but the wind chill is terrible. It's freezing. It's even kind of cold in my house, but I'm about to take the dog out for a walk. <sighs> Somebody at work told me that you can only stay out in this wind chill for 30 minutes before you start developing frostbite. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, I figured as long as you were warm, you were fine. But apparently anything that's not exposed, or that is exposed, you get frostbite. I guess I'm going to get frostbite on my eyelashes and eyelids. Anyway. Milo says hi. <laughs> He's ready to go pee. So, bye. As we have learned in previous episodes, Milo is not a water dog, but he is a snow dog. We're going to poop now. That's a sound. Never ending. Snow. You see it's still falling? Still falling. Lots of snow. Milo really likes it when he gets to play in it. Lots of snow. We're at uh, McMillan Marsh. This is a, oh, leash. This is a wildlife preserve. I have to get the leash. My Milo really likes it here. Um, dogs are allowed off leash here certain times of the year. I have two bags of poop in my hand. Let's go. And if a bear comes out of these woods, I am throwing the poop at them. I do not care. I'm not above it. It's real snowy. Oh, okay. That's it. We're here. We're doing this thing. Back around. It's cold. My fingers are freezing. All right, I just sat down in the snow. And I want to see what Milo's going to do. Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Milo. <laughs> Milo. Yeah! Milo. All right, he can't eat too much snow. It's bad for them. Lowers their core temperature. So I gotta get him out of the snow now. <sighs> that was fun. Milo.
upset. And also moisturizer is dripping into my eyes and I don't know why because there's it's not hot enough for anything to drip into my face. You know, a woodchuck passed by in front of us just minding its own business and I tried to distract Milo who was in front of me from seeing it until it could get across safely and did not work. And Milo saw it and made a beeline for it. And I thought that I, yeah, we're talking about you. I thought that I pulled him off of it in time, but it pulled itself away with just its two front legs and its little feet were dragging behind it. So it was all balled up. There was no blood anywhere. Milo doesn't have blood on him. The woodchuck didn't have blood on it. Snow didn't have blood on it. There was no blood. I guess my dog just nipped him just in the right spot because he didn't even like clamp down on him. He just was nipping him. And I called a coworker and asked her if there was like a protocol for this kind of thing when your dog maims an animal in a wildlife reserve. And she said, well, do you feel comfortable killing it? And I said, oh no, absolutely not. And I probably should have because, you know, what are the odds that he's going to A, heal, B, live a long, healthy life, with only two legs and I mean he's not a human and there's not like accommodations for woodchucks paralyzed woodchucks so that was me squeezing the moisturizer out of my eyeballs it's really killing me it's the reason I put the sunglasses on because <coughs> when I tried to record this before I kept touching my eyes so, so I called the Department of Natural Resources at her suggestion and they said that they could give me the number for a wildlife rehab if he looked like he could be rehabbed. But at that point, he was under some grass and I couldn't see him anymore and I didn't want to step on him. I didn't know how I was going to get him and the dog back to the car, which was more than a mile away. And so she said, you know... I don't even know if they would have anywhere for him to go at the rehab. And we don't have any resources here to help him out. She said, just maybe give, just give nature some time and space and it'll do its thing. Which makes me feel awful because I feel like doing its thing is going to be a slow, painful death for that woodchuck. Because of that guy. What you doing? You looking for more woodchucks? Huh? Yeah. I don't want to brag, but I did see the Northern Lights in Wisconsin. The audacity of spring in Wisconsin. Yeah, let's get the tree out. <laughs> Back out. The lights. It's a blizzard. We should add a holiday to this little sign. Ridiculous.